Guys, let's talk about HTML table padding and spacing. Okay, so in this video, we are going to talk about how you can add padding and spacing to your HTML table. So HTML tables can adjust the padding inside the cells and also the space between the cells as well. So let's start by talking about how to add padding to your HTML table cells. So cell padding is the space between the cell edges, you know, as you can see the edges here, and the content of the cell. Okay, so when we talk about padding, we're actually talking about adding the space between the edge of the cell and uh, the content of the cell. And by default, as you can see here, we've not adding uh, we've not added any padding, so the padding is set to zero. And if you want to add padding on your table cells, you have to use the CSS padding property. And that's what I'm going to show you. So you come in your style here, in your style element, we will say that we want to add the padding, apply the padding to our headers and to our cell data. And open the curly braces inside here you will simply say padding 10 pixels and then semicolon so if you do that now you can see that the padding has been added all right so what if you want to add um you only want to add some padding to the top or to the bottom or to the left or to the right or you want to have different values of your padding to the different sides of your cell that's what i am going to show you so there are specific uh, css properties for you know where you can add padding to the different sides of your cell let's say for example you want to say that on your le the left side of the cell, you want to add 10 pixels. For the right side, you want to add 15 pixels. Now you see how this is showing. Uh, for the bottom side, you want to add 20 pixels. And as for the top, you will say padding top. You want to add 25 pixels, like this. So there you see how your table is now showing on the screen. So that's it about cell padding. Okay. So as I said, cell padding is the space between cell edges and the cell content. So uh, now let's talk about adding some space to your cell, cell spacing. So cell spacing is actually the space between each cell, okay? Like we have three cells here on the top here. If you want to add some space between them, you can use a specific uh, CSS property that can allow you to add some spacing. And that property is the border spacing property. And this property, you have to apply it to the table element. Okay, so we'll come to our table element here inside. We will say border spacing. And that will be 20 pixels like this. So now nothing will happen simply because we are using this border collapse here, okay? So the border collapse is actually used to group, you know, the edges of your cell border. So that's why it's showing like this. If I remove the border collapse here, you will see how this is going to show. Now you see that is how it's going to show. If I remove the border spacing now, so without the border spacing and the border collapse, there, this is how by default, if you add the border to your table, this is by default how it's going to show. But if you say border collapse, collapse, this is going to group, you know, the edges of your 
cell borders. So now let's add the border spacing here. If you add your border spacing, this is actually going to increase, you know, the space between the two cells. So that's actually what I wanted to show you about table, um, HTML table padding and HTML table spacing. I hope this video was informative. If you have any question, feel free to write that in the comment section. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Let's meet in the next video.